morning is upon us, people. Uh, 0700 in the Middle East where I am. So I say good morning to you. Good morning to you all. Good morning to you all. <clears throat> uh, good evening to you on your side of the planet. On your side of the world. Come on, brother. You don't have a stop sign. Bless you. <clears throat> so, um, you know how I am with my floss dicks. I have one on hand for every occasion. And you, and you know what? As purposeful as they are to me, and as meaningful as they are in my life, my flaw sticks, I mean, there was a uh, comparison that had never dawned on me till today. A good heart, a good heart and soul should never endure the pains of bad teeth and gums. Is that profound yet, or is it just does it just sound that way? Obviously, I will elaborate. But a good heart and soul should never endure the pains of bad teeth and gums. Only you know, only you know how important your teeth and gums are to you, and how much use you get out of them if you take care of them. Okay, so sometimes you may neglect the brush and, you know, maybe you're not the best at flossing, whatever have you. But, of course, neglectfully, you could be in a world of hurt if you don't take care of your teeth and gums, right? Okay. Heart and soul is the same thing. Very precious, depending on how much you love and care. Give love, receive love, desire love, the need to be loved. Obviously, you're going to be very protective of who you put in charge or who you put in a position to affect your heart and soul, right? Of course you would. As well, you should. I agree. But uh, when you're trying to improve your life and lifestyle, your teeth and gum, your presentation to others becomes a part of that, or should. And when I took on... You know, really getting into, you know, dental work and understanding all that kind of stuff. And like that. To where I was improving my smile, my teeth, the color, discolor, and all of that stuff. You know, I, you know, I'm a warrior, you know what I'm saying? So I go in there, you know, I brush, you know, I floss regularly or regularly enough, not as much as I do now, obviously. So, you know, I go to the dentist and he's asking these questions about my teeth and gums and the answers I'm giving are wrong. As comfortable as I am to talk about it, my answers are wrong. You know, do your teeth bleed? Oh well, yeah, yeah, you know, they, my teeth bleed. Sure, 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 okay. Um, is there sensitivity here? No, 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 you know, cause, cause I think I'm tough, but I got, so no. I don't feel no pain, you know, I don't, I don't feel nothing, you know. Yeah, they bleed, but you know, that's how I rinse and gargle, spit that shit out. I'm not going by my business. That's wrong. He gets in there with the little sharp pointy stuff and he's, you know, doing his thing. He's scraping and scratching and hitting the surface and going in between the gum line and the tooth and all this jazz. And then he stops and he's like, does that hurt? And I'm like, nah. That's wrong. If you've foregone and undergone that much pain to the point where you're used to it, your teeth and gums are no longer healthy. You're not feeling what should be painful and should bring some awareness to what's wrong with your mouth. Wouldn't you say that's essential if your heart and your soul are being hurt and bothered or misused or mistreated enough to where you don't even, you don't even put caution towards it anymore? You think that is the norm. That's the everyday regiment that your heart and soul goes through. It's going to hurt you're going to be hurt and you're going to be accepting of it to where it doesn't even bother you. The words you accept and the treatment you accept, you know, it, it, it doesn't even make a difference anymore. You don't bat an eye at it. That's wrong. 
No one should mistreat you. No one should make you feel bad. Unless they're joking and you understand the way that they're joking, you should never be accepting of that type of treatment. A good heart and soul should not endure the pains of bad teeth and gums.